Welcome back to the channel. Um, we have a trough that needs repaired and um, it's, it's gone on there now for a long time, but we have the parts for it and um, we're gonna go at that today. And shall we see how we get on? We get into it. So it's just a common ball valve and um, this trough I'm fitting it to is it's really old I'd say it's probably 40 years old um, I don't know if the valve that's in it is 40 years old as well but uh, it's nice to keep the, the older stuff going and maintained so I'll stick this into it and we'll see if we have we have it working Working the shit out of the rain there. Nice. Um. So this is the trough in question. It could be 40 years old. Yeah. Have we just pulled out from the wall there now? Concrete troughs are durable, but sometimes they do crack in frosty weather. This one hasn't. Right. Hard enough, and not a drop of a pull on that pipe at all. So to pull it out the trough. Um, so I'll wait till it fills in. I'll uh, make sure there's, there's no leaks. So, on to the next thing. So I have uh, a couple of bait boxes that I want to um, I want to fill up. So. Going to do that now. So she's a big spider. I don't think there's any special way of doing this. I just the way I do it. So um, we sponged the O's there yesterday and um, just put this back. We sponged the O's yesterday and um, in 12 to 14 days time we're going to pull the sponges out of them and uh, at day eight, we're going to put in the ram with them, with the rattle on them, and um, we'll see how we go from there. So the ram is back. 
and we have three very clear yours keeping him company here um, he's not to go out with the rest of the yours until next Friday so we're going to keep him here and um, I'm just going to get down a bit of hay and we have some bags of oats to be the finest and we'll take it from there there's bales of hay here so it'll do them for the, the short week I'll fire them in one there into the corner and you don't really fancy changing the rear grate there onto the tractor so I'll try and knock it down by hand and put it into the transport box but if that doesn't work I will put the grape on Well, the weather has definitely changed on the 2nd of October now, it's gone cold and there's a good few showers according to we had a great September, we had a great year to be fair. Um, this hay was made across the road, in the larger pad across the road, it's nice stuff. Um, it was baled with a, a fusion tree and uh, He's tedded out as well. The old hay bob over there, I think it's on its... I think it has done its final fields. It's just pointless. Going out with uh, that machine when the tether can do the same paddock in like 15 minutes. I could be going around there for a solid hour. So, uh, that's the way it goes anyway. They're eating it anyway, so that's a good sign. Um, they're bell clear of yours. There's one that's a pedigree, she has a blue tail, this one here, she's a pedigree, they're, um, I like them, I like to look at them and they give, they give great crops of uh, lambs, and the uh, Rambo over here, he's a Charlie, he was used here last year as well, um, any of the his offspring that were born last year are gone to the farm and tip, and um, we're going to use him again. He's, I think he's a good ram. A little bit contrary, but sure, you have that. Um, so the yos are sponged, and we pull the sponges on Thursday, coming, and the following day he'll be let out with them, obviously rattled up, and um, please God we'll have a tighter. Uh, lambing season next year. Um, hopefully they all come on now at the same time. Um, I've no meal or um, nuts on the farm at the moment. Just, there's no need for it. Like they're still 
solid grass diet for all the oats. I'm just going to give the, these ones in the shed uh, some oats and um, that's it. the feather there is they use so many bags of oats, they're just for the pins down there so spare a few for these ones in the shed, they're only going to be here a few days. Um, yeah, there's only a few hens down there, so we can definitely spare a few, a few books of oats for these. So that's it for the work today. It is a Sunday so there's no need to be out here bullying ourselves. Um, so the cows are uh, calving up and work so I might see if I can get some footage of that and uh, push it into the video as well. And, uh, shall we go on from there? So the the grass has slowed down uh, here, but uh, we've we're still fine. It absolutely loads of grass here. Um, just keep these away from the shed, anyways, until the ram goes out. I know you can smell them. Um, so yeah, I make another video of uh, pulling the sponges and rattling them and letting them off. And uh, that'll be the next video. Bye for now. You want to say goodbye, Tippy?